Ethiopia. It's now 7.20. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing the Tfasi camp. And now I have arrived, finally got through security. And here's with Fasika. Hi. <laughs> Who's there? Welcome to Ethiopia, Simon. Thank you. Yeah. And you've been very kind to wait for me for you've been here for oh, one. That's really my pleasure. One and a half hours. Yeah, um, it's okay. It, it took quite some time before we got out, but now we're here, and yeah, it we're, happens. Yeah. And we're going to the guest house. Yeah, sure. I have only slept like two hours, so I think I need to rest a little bit. Actually, I have learned a lot starting from some applications that you have using to uh, achieve the objective of your project. For example, Notion is very new for me. Yeah. So I'm using it uh, even for my dissertation project. Mm -hmm. So I try to organize everything that I'm doing using this application. Uh, and uh, basically, it's not only the apps, but your vision is amazing. <laughs> yes, the vision we're doing it together. That you're created, together. but you initiated it. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it's very inspiring, even though you are from, even though you are not from Africa, but you are doing uh, a lot of things to transform things especially in the education sector of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very inspiring and heartwarming. Oh. And I'd like to say thank you for that. Yeah, thank you, Simon. Okay. Well, my name is uh, Kedusilias. I am currently uh, a part-time lecturer at Unity University. And I'm also working as the curriculum design lead for Direct Ed Development Foundation. Okay, nice. Good. Good to finally get to meet you uh, after a while. After a while. After uh, all those Zoom calls. After many, many Zoom calls. <laughs> yes. Okay, kiddos. Yeah, what were you saying about risks here in Ethiopia when you have a car? Well, if you actually own a car, there's a very, very large t chance that you're going to lose your side mirror, like, I don't know, like once every month, especially if you park it at the wrong spot. Yeah, and, or if and how, how, how does that happen? Well, uh, usually the most common way would be uh, you park your car and you think you're safe and you go, you come back, they're gone. And random kids or even people normally dressed up just like, oh, look, they just walk up to it and they just... Just, just grab those side mirrors, yes. like those side mirrors yes. right there. Yank it and then yes, and then oh, put it in their pocket. And go. Another way would be when you're at a traffic stop, so at the traffic lights. So a bunch of kids might come and they might be like by your sides and they might ask you for money and you say no, you have your windows up. And what they do is they just drink it and then run. <laughs> you can't leave your car and chase. And oh, there are even God. schemes where they actually do that. So they take the side mirrors and you open the car to chase and you lose something else from the car. Uh, Again. Okay, damn. And that's why you have to. So you pay these guys on the street to watch your car yeah. as you park it. Wherever you go, mm, wherever you, you go. have to. So yeah. it's basically parking. So there's always one guy at every street, like every 50 meters or something, or like every 100 meters. Yeah, it? something like that. So yeah. they have their own territories, uh, or they might like uh, divide the territory between the three of them. They just work together. So they're just standing there, and if he shows you a way and you park by his side, you pay that guy. Mm. So that's that's how they would okay interesting navigate. good to know